Hi, I'm Dr. Bo Brinkman. I'm going to talk about Shelver, which is an augmented reality app that we've designed to be used in libraries. Libraries use something called a call number to organize their books. Uh, using the call numbers on the books, library patrons can quickly find the book that they're looking for, but only if the books are actually in order by call number on the shelf. In order to keep the books in order on the shelf, librarians use a tedious and time-consuming process. They actually look at every single book in the library. They look at every spine at every call number and make sure that the book is in the right place on the shelf. Our augmented reality app, Shelver, has been designed to automate this process. We've added a machine-readable version of the call number to the spine tag of each book, and then we have an Android application that can read those tags. I'll do a quick demo here. So you can see the way Shelver works. It scans for tags in the bottom of the screen, and then it can actually tell very easily whether books are in order or out of order. Books that are in order get a green check mark. Books that are out of order get an orange question mark. And if I tap the screen, I'll actually even get a little shelving hint that shows me that uh, that book that's out of place needs to be to moved to the left of the orange book. And our big contribution here is that we're able to do this on a mobile device uh, at almost interactive frame rates. You can see here I'm getting about two and a half frames per second. Uh, usually we get about four and a half frames per second. We're losing a bit of speed because I'm doing the screen capture right now. Um, so it detects whether the books are in the right place or not and um, this is a good application for augmented reality because we're using the human for what the human is good for and we're using the computer for what the computer is good for. The computer is much better at uh, sorting the tags and it's much better at storing and collating data. The human user, on the other hand, we need the human user to check whether or not Shelbar is actually seeing all the tags. You could see that we sometimes miss uh, misreading a tag so the user has to check to make sure the tags are read. Now we won't have any false reads because we're using error detecting codes, um, but the user needs to make sure that each book gets seen. One of the other benefits of this system, right now most libraries don't have a good way of doing uh, a, a total inventory. This gives you a total inventory of the books on your shelves as a byproduct of shelf reading, something that you're already doing, and it's much cheaper to install than say a radio frequency based system that a lot of libraries are using because the tags are just standard printable shelf labels you're already using and your scanning device isn't some special purpose piece of hardware it's just a smartphone that your patrons probably already have. Um, this project is currently uh, if you've seen our previous video you know that we had a prototype of this. In the prototype the tags were were fake. They were basically hard-coded into the system. There were only 12 of them. These are actually real tags. The system is complete. It's been installed in a couple of shelves in the uh, art library here at my university, and we're going to start doing uh, user testing and performance testing uh, within the next month.